What's good everyone, Ben from Ambition Apparel here. Hope everyone's having a good week. Um, really want to just give a shout out to everybody who's supporting the brand so far. Picked up some merch, you know, even just interacting with us on Instagram, liking our photos, commenting. Really appreciate it and really have met some some cool people along the way just on our, you know, our on, on our journey so far. And it's, it's, it's been awesome. You know, we're um, a very new new brand. You know, we started, you know, during the pandemic. Um, and it's, you know, it's been a ride, been a process, just the beginning and excited to see what the rest of the year holds and just the future for us in general. I want to take a minute here and introduce kind of a new series that that I that I kind of wanted to start and just had in mind of, of you know, an idea that just kind of came to me one day. You know, the whole idea behind this clothing brand is to, you know, inspire people to just pursue pursue their goals, pursue their dreams, no matter what it may be, whatever you're passionate about, just pursue your passion and don't let anything kind of get in the way or or, or, or stop you, you know, there's, everyone has something they're passionate about and you just have to have the, you know, an, an ambitious mindset um, to, to achieve it. You know, I, I truly believe that anyone can do anything that they really set their mind to and, and set, the, set themselves up for the lives that they want to live. And so, you know, with that in mind and kind of embodying that message, I wanted to, to kind of highlight um, people that I've met along the way in my life and people that I'm hopefully going to continue to meet, you know, on this journey. Oh, that, that are really just going out there and, and kicking ass and, and, and don't care what hurdles are in front of them and they're just pursuing what they're super passionate about, whatever, in, in whatever field that may be, what, you know, whether it's music, comedy, um, business, um, you know, f film, anything, anything that people are truly passionate about and, some, and what drives them, they're, you know, finding their lane and, and they're just running with it. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure how often we're going to do these, but whenever... You know, we can lock in time with, with some cool people that are doing some cool things. We're definitely going to try, you know, sit down with them and, and bend their ear and, and, you know, be able to kind of cross promote, you know, what, what we're all about with at Ambition and what, you know, these guys are all about with what they're doing. Um, I was lucky enough to sit down uh, a few days ago with, with my buddy Miguel, who uh, I went to college with. We're in the same fraternity, um, know, know him very well. He's, he's, he's a good friend of mine and he's been in a band for a long time. Uh, him and him and his buddy uh, Josh, who who I had the you know privilege to meet, and, and you know had had a Zoom call and kind of just uh, you know talked about their process, you know where they've come from, what they have in mind, what they have in store, what's what's next, what motivates them, what what drives them. Um, you know th they're doing some really cool things. Put out a lot of new music. They went out to L.A. and and, and you know and, and sat down and and you know were, was able to you know have some time with a pretty with a pretty relatively big producer who has some contacts with them, and, and they're really just kind of on a roll and they seem to be doing a lot of cool stuff the music is, is that they're, they're pumping out a lot of stuff and it's and it's good you know i'm not just saying that because i'm you know here to, to promote this by any means or because miguel's my friend um n not at all you know the, the music is great i i love the mentality they have and they're just really going after it so without further ado uh you know uh you know this is uh like i said a, a small um a small series that we're just going to do sporadically but um, yeah, we're really, really looking forward to the feedback we hear. And, and, you know, if you have anyone that you think might fit and might be a good fit for us and, and to, you know, sit down with and if we can, you know, schedule something that's awesome, shoot them my way and look forward to doing a bunch of these. So, uh, yeah, enjoy, guys. Uh, yo, so yeah, I'm here with Miguel and, and Josh, two two parts of Bronx pop punk band um, out of the Bronx, New York City. Um, <laughs> yeah, you you got you guys uh, grew up together in in the Bronx or not? <laughs> not really. I mean, like we we, we met in high school, really, um, and then like probably like probably the freshman year in high school, but we didn't really like start anything till like sophomore year in high school. Okay. Like ever since then, we've just been doing like nonstop year after year till like now. And that was like, when was that? Like, like 2013 till now. 2013? <laughs> Word. 21. And then uh, is, is there like, thir a third member? Or is, are you, I know you guys are like the core, the core two, right? Are you guys, are, you guys started it together? And then is there a third in the mix also? Um, well, right now we do have our other guitarist, Alexi, who also went to high school with us. Okay. He went to Florida um, midway through high school and came back after we all graduated. 
Um, so right now he's in the band. Um, he joined probably last summer. Right on. As a guitarist. Yeah. But it's been solely us two going through so many different members <laughs> throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Got you. Um, mostly drummers though. Is the is is just we always been a three piece, but um, with a drummer. But now we're a three piece with no drummer. It's just a guitarist and bassist and Miguel. Yeah. <laughs> Got you. And then um, I I see I've saw in the in the new music video um there there is a drummer though and he's just a guy that you kind of just threw in for for, for that set or, or, or to, to record the video gotcha yeah. so so the, the the two masterminds are i'm, I'm talking <laughs> about, right of course of course he was actually cool. um he was actually our, like our our ex-drummer but like he he fills in for us every now and then like he was like the drummer that when we first started rocks and then like he always does like favors for us like whenever we need like a drummer for a show or something he'd be like yeah like i'll do it like it just like helps us out, you know. Like really cool with that. Got you. Yeah. So I mean, I wanted to, to talk to you guys, and this is the, the 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 first of the first episode, I guess, or if you want, even want to call it an episode of a series. I want to start of uh, you know to, to go hand in hand with with the clothing brand because you know everything that ambition kind of represents and what I created it to do is one. I always like clothing. I I've always wanted to kind of do something in clothing. I work in marketing right now, and this is obviously something I do on the side that I want to build up a little more. I always kind of wanted to go into fashion in, in some sense. So I was like, you know what, screw it. I'll, I'll keep my day job and I'll just start this on the side. And it kind of embodies and just represents people going out there, whatever your passion may be, whatever you're into, whatever you're, you know, you're, you're passionate about. Uh, pursue it you know it, even if it's in an hour a day on the side or whatever you know like if, if there's something that you love to do and and, and you want to make a career out of it go, go for it you know and that's why that's kind of the mentality I, I had when I started this brand and that's what I want it to kind of embody when I when, when people buy it you know they might have a side hustle of, of their own and and so they you know they can they can rock this you know the ambition gear while they're you know while they're pursuing their their, their dreams and goals of whatever it may be and for you guys it's music and I, and I know it's something, you know, Miguel and I went to college together for, for four years. And uh, I know, you know, this is something that he had always been working on in the background. And we were all, you know, I didn't, I didn't know too much about it at first, but now it seems like it's gaining a little more traction or maybe you just have a little more time to put in with it. Cause now you're, you know, don't, don't have to focus on school anymore. I, like I'm sure you guys have nine to five jobs also that I kind of want to get into a little bit. I'll ask you about a little later. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm super, you know, I'm, I'm proud of you, Miguel, cause I know this is something you've been you know, working on for a while, dude. And I, I respect it. And, and the music is, is, is good, dude. Like I, 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 this last, this last, uh, song drug in me, dude, I, I like it a lot. The music video was sick. Yeah. Um, did, did, yo. Yo, yo, did, uh, <laughs> did Steph shoot that for you? Yeah. Steph. <laughs> shout, shout out, no, Steph. Shout out Steph. I, um, I'm actually going to have him, I'm going to interview him and we're going to do one of these also like, uh, sometime yeah. later in the month that I'll, that I'll re release also yeah. because he, he, a great guy. He's, <laughs> good, he's good people. He's another dude that's, you know, kind of do following his dream and, you know, he's into film and all that kind of stuff. So we, you know, it's, it's like a, a side hustle of his is, is, is colorway productions. And yeah, dude, he's quality. Good, good people. Um, so yeah, man, I just want to, you know, be able to tell your guys story a little bit alongside the, you know, getting messaging out about what, you know, this clothing line ambition is all about also. So um, again, just kind of turn on you guys and ask you some, some questions here. Like I think you earlier on, you mentioned you guys just have been together since 2013. Is that, that's, that's, is that since you've been, since you've been boys or since the, the band has been around? Since the old boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Both, yeah. Both nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we started off on, under a different name. But we also started off as just two guys writing music together um, in his bedroom. <laughs> so uh, we were like big fans of pop music back then. Yeah. Like, like Ed Sheeran, Bruno uh, Mars, yeah. Yeah. Um, Jake Miller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jake Miller. <laughs> and we were just writing pop room bedroom songs like that. And then we finally got to perform uh, original and the feedback from that performance drove us to actually make it official and form an actual band. Yeah, it was like a little open mic in our high school, like lunchroom. And we're like, ah, right, let's 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 do something. You know, Josh wrote a song, and then we're like, all right, let's perform it. Uh, I I was I, back then I didn't know how to play guitar. Like I was a singer, and then Josh played the guitar, and then like you know it was kind of like a duo like that. And then like everyone really liked that. 
then. Yeah, I actually had just learned guitar as well. So <laughs> it was like a rookie guitar player and rookie songwriters, even rookie vocalists. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's so work. <laughs> yeah, in our school, it was a high school of music, but I had, um, I was like a saxophone player and he was a percussionist. So um, I was put on saxophone since middle school and I was always um, doing, you know, concert music, jazz music, but I never thought about actually writing, you know, writing music and playing guitar. I've always like was fascinated by like, um, like rock music and stuff, but I never saw myself doing it until like I met Miguel and like I started listening to more music in high school as well. So um, eventually I started picking up the guitar and just teaching myself with YouTube. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, I was, I was gonna ask if like music was something you guys had done from like a young age. And it, so it sounds like kind of, but not really like, like different, like, like not, not this kind of music, obviously more like, mm -hmm. like, uh, like school, like school band or like, the, or like school. I, I, I like, I played percussion in like the school band. I, I sucked, but you, you know, like, um, <laughs> that's so did do you guys just went to, it wasn't like a special music high school or anything like that right it was just a normal regular ass high school right no no um well well yeah it was it was like 50 50 like it okay. was in the box that we shared a building with like three four other high schools they had like half a high school like a quarter of a high school like half a floor yeah literally. <laughs> but uh we also had a whole college campus next to us lehman college where we had our music um classes and rehearsals and all that yeah, so like, so like the school was like it, it was it was a music school. Like the kids are required required to like go to music class for like two hours, like two hours, like two periods of okay. the day, I guess. Yep. I would say. And then um, and then every and then we just go on to work for a regular day. So it was a um, like a school of music. So like we would have like events and stuff alongside of that. Gotcha. And like, did growing up like before you guys had had met or even decided to to just you know start doing this together did you ever think you wanted to like have your own band or is it some, something that just kind of came up organically or was it always something in your mind like oh this i'm i, I think i'm going to do this one day and try to make a run at it and, and see what happens or just kind of just stumble stumbled into it i think i think we we kind of like bonded over like i guess like music that we like both liked and we we're like oh let's like mess around and stuff and then um he was you know showing me songs and like like he was like at the back then I'm like yo this this guy's like uh, songwriting is crazy <laughs> like oh, yeah oh. yeah like, I'm about, <laughs> so like yo this, this guy's songwriting is crazy like like definitely that, I could definitely see something into this and then after that performance I think that was like yo like we we should really like make a band mm -hmm. out of it like even one of like the girls uh, she's like a good friend of ours um, Jelani. She, she's the one like yo like you guys have to do like a band or something like you guys like you guys are like a good duo we're like yeah. ever since then we're like all right we gotta try it then yeah. she was like you guys are too good not to basically yeah <laughs> nice that's yeah, awesome that's she, she's the one that actually gave us the name too uh, of like of that, that the other band name yeah oh, my cool. original band name was uh two in the afternoon <laughs> what was it what was it <laughs> two in the afternoon oh okay yeah okay very very uh cheesy and you know, <laughs> basic but we, we grew from it you know <laughs> yeah, yeah learned man. a lot <laughs> um so yeah so i mean like i said i know it, it when we were in college together miguel like we like i know you were working on it then and and I, have you like found now that you're out of school you're putting like much more effort into it and and i know it was always on the sidelines in school and i know you would go back you would leave new Paltz and you would go back to for shows here and there and, and that kind yeah. of stuff and and but um, it, it seems like you guys are kind of putting a little more, like you have a little more time to, re to really dive into it now. Is that fair to say? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, we definitely have a lot more time. Ever since like COVID, like mm -hmm. all yeah. these things, like, you know, like we're just damn, like I just got to spend a lot of time. Like I was like back at home all the time now. Like, damn, like there's nothing, there's, there's, there's like nothing to do, but like work on like music and stuff. So like I would do that in my free time. Then when we officially graduated, you know, I was like still like not even like putting that much effort into music. I would say like he's always had um, done a lot of music because he has he's in like two other bands. So like so like he's like working real, real hard like with their band and stuff. And I and I was still like on the fence, like still not wondering what I would do. And then like like one day in the like 
in the summer, like I kind of just woke up. I'm like, like, wait a minute. Like I, like, I have something here. Like I might as well just, just go for it. And then like, I, t- I had like long conversation with Josh. Like, and then like, we're like, all right, like if, we got, if we're going to do this, we got to do it right. Like this year, this, t- uh, this year is going to go like, we're going to go headstrong. And then ever since then we planned on this, we planned out that, planned out this, planned out that. And we, so far we just executed everything from that point on. Like um, I had a job, um, but I quit it because of the time, time schedules and everything. Um, so I, we literally, I just not have been working, just been working on music like every single day of um, probably since October. That's awesome. And yeah, dude, sometimes you just got to say, screw it and, and, and go after it, you know, and, and go after something like, dude, like the timing is like never going to be perfect for something. Like, you, I feel like you can make it like excuses, like all the time. Like, oh, like I want, like, I'm going to do that. Like, you know, in a year from now when I'm like, when I have a little more money and when I can have more time, but it's like you get that next year rolls around and you're like, oh, you know what? Fuck it. Next year, next year. Or, or, <laughs> yeah, or, you know, exactly. so, I mean, I respect it big time that you guys are just exactly. like diving in, man. It's, it's awesome. And, and uh, I, you know, I can tell it's something you guys are you know re- really passionate about. Um, Josh, do, uh, do you have any kind of nine to five right now or, or, or um, just at the moment? No, uh, I used to work at Rockefeller Center. That was my last job. Okay. And then the, the, the C word COVID <laughs> uh, they offered me the job back pretty late and it wasn't in, in inconvenience with my schedule, especially with music. So I didn't take the job back and um, just stood unemployed as well. Um, so I could make the time for music pretty much. Um, I've been working nine to five since like my senior year of high school. Mm-hmm. And um, I've, uh, I feel like I've, earned this like time off of work to focus on music yeah dude and that's what i really want to do i don't want to be at a nine to five job you know five days a week like half of my day my full day gone when i could have been in the studio writing another banger <laughs> <laughs> making yeah. you know yeah dude i i i totally i totally uh I, I totally agree like there's uh, like I, i've even like been you know had, had some some thoughts to i mean I, i'm not, not going to quit my job or anything like, i i like my job i uh, i have you know a pretty cushy solid job but like it's not i'm not going to do it for the rest of my life you know like i like why not pursue or go after something that like you're at, that you actually love and that makes you happy and fulfills you and and then you know grind out a few years while you might not be making that much money off what you're really passionate about but like put in the work now lay, lay the foundation to one day be able to set yourself up to yeah, you're working, but it doesn't feel like work because it's, it's what mm-hmm. you are all about. And, and, you know, it's what, what, what you, you like, you built it for yourself, right? Like we're, we're young, you know, young enough right now to like build a foundation for ourselves and, and, and put our, put your head down and just work for something right now. And it might, might not, might kind of stink while, you know, for, for the first few years of it, while you're really trying to like get everything settled and set up and you just really got to work hard and, and, and grind. But hopefully, you know, the goal is that you're putting the work now so that you don't have to later on and, and you set yourself up. Yeah. yeah. So. Like what you said, like before really like kind of like re- resonates to kind of like, like, why not? Like, why not? Like, why, why, why would you push off till later when you could just do it now? Cause mm-hmm. you could be like, yeah, push it later. And then like next thing, you know, later is when you're like 30 or 40 and you're too old for it for this uh, kind right. of time thing, you know what I mean? Like, right, you got, you got three kids, dude, you know, or whatever. Hopefully not three kids anytime oh. soon. Not, not, <laughs> not that I would, but you know, yeah, like dude, <laughs> life life happens, bro. And it's just like, and in and, and the, the process of what you're doing, it's going to take the same amount of time. So why not yeah. wait? Why not do it now? Why wait to do it two years from now where like the work that you're going to, if you start it now, you're going to put in that same amount of work now and it's, you're going to be ahead of the game. Like Yeah, exactly. Like when you do it later, it's just going to delay your, you know, like, right. I, I like to say like delay your freedom because mm-hmm. you know everyone like at, at this point like money money does control our lives and stuff and then like I don't know like if you if you like your success is like you know gaining you know more financial like uh, stability then mm-hmm. like you know like financial stability is what's gonna free you from like working a job mm-hmm. or um, things like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. No, t- totally agree. Um, where like what would you say like like motivates you guys to 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 stay to, to continue writing and, and and stay in the studio like I, I follow you guys on instagram i obviously follow you your personal account miguel and it seems like you guys are always just just in there where is the studio actually that's that that's what should be my first question is it like your house is it uh, yeah. house where you guys work out of 
Well, like for recent years, um, for recent years, we've been going out to to, uh, to studios. Like that last that last EP that we did, um, called um, another year, and I'm still here. That that we did in Wappingers, but every oh, wow. release after that, we've just been doing it in my house, and we have a connection in Los Angeles with a guy that engineers, you know, a lot of you know, well-known artists <laughs> that, that's, um, that's been um, mixing our stuff. So whatever we, we do here, we send it out to him for him to professionally mix and master everything. So like, it's like the best thing ever. We kind of just do it on our com- comfort, like our comfort station over yep. here at my house in our little studio, then we send it out. And then like, we are like, all right, now that we sent that out next, let's get ready for the next one type of thing. Okay. And that, that dude's in Wappingers that you send it to? Uh, no, no, he's in LA. Oh, that's the first guy was in Wappingers, you said. Uh, yeah, the first guy from Wappingers, the one that did the EP, but okay, ever since then, like, it's gotcha. Been LA. So, is that why you guys flew out to LA recently, or was that what was that last month? Or uh, that yeah, was, it was March, that was in March, yeah. yeah. Oh, was that long, that long ago? Okay, but was it to go, was it to go meet with him? <laughs> huh? Um, yeah, we did fly out to meet him. Um, we, we did go to his studio and um, chatted up with him and everything. Uh, we're working on bigger projects with them in the future as well. Um, we were also over there promoting the EP as well. Um, we just wanted to go out to LA and promote ourselves and see the vibes for ourselves out there as well. Because we always wanted to to be out there in the West Coast, but we never actually did it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, like we didn't say, let's do it tomorrow. We did, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of just like, we, we have like no, we had like really no agenda. We just like knew that. We just wanted to be there, like, all right, let's print out a bunch of flyers and just head to LA, <laughs> basically. That's all we, like, we planned for. And then, like, ever since then, we've just been meeting, like, this guy in LA. Um, and then we met, and then, like, we met another guy, pri- like, prior to LA, too. So we met up with two people over there. Oh, actually, we met up with three people. <laughs> <laughs> where, where we did, we did, we actually did Druggy Me in LA. In LA. That's why. Okay. Yeah that over there as well yeah so we had like a studio time we met up with some guy that does like some um a and r stuff for his like brother's uh label company and then we met up with our producer um in la gotcha yeah i want to I'm, I'm trying to get out to la i'm actually going to book a trip i think um yeah, for, you should. For, for next month i i, I really want to um i'm like working on like like a summer kind of vibe, like collection kind of and it's going to yeah, be kind of yeah. like la themed like a lot of like thinking like some pink stuff and, and just like pink, pink shirts and just more like summer, summer vibes. And I feel like LA is the cool place to do that. I want to get like, some, I want to like do some photo shoots out, out there with, with, with some of the gear. Get yeah, some cheese, some yeah, dude. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Like the whole mentality behind ambition is like the New York's New York, like mindset of like, you know, hustle and, and grind and stuff. But I think that it's not just, like strictly New York city. I think that there's people all over the country and in, in other major cities that have that same mentality. And so it was, the idea was born in my head of like, all right, we live in New York. This is, this is like the kind of mindset that's instilled in us every day. Like hustle, hustle, like, like, you know, New York is a fast and loud city, but there's definitely people that have the same mentality across the country. And that's what I'm trying to like spread out, you know, spread and, and get the word out and, and have people think, you know, just, pursue whatever they want whatever they want to do and and yeah so uh, yeah I'm, I'm trying to book that next for might even book it this week and uh, i think we're gonna go like mid, mid-july or something me, yeah, me, it, me and the wife <laughs> oh yeah yeah oh, me, me and jay me, me and jane will probably go out there she has family out there too like uh, yeah, so. <laughs> that's so dope yeah yeah um that's that's like a that's like a great idea i would definitely recommend it and i think like another thing that that, that, that is also beneficial for like people to see like your clothing brand and in, in LA or something paradise because people want to be in paradise, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. That's like another way to think about it too. Yep. You know? No, yeah, I agree. Like if you want to work hard? Yeah, work <laughs> work hard now so that you don't have to in 10 years and you can yeah, be exactly. in fucking paradise or wherever, wherever your paradise is. Enjoy some whiskey on the rocks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> were, were you guys just in LA or did you like explore a little more of California? Uh, it was just most, we were like uh, up and down, like um, to the, like Venice Beach up through Sunset, all the way up to like this big park, um, 
We love the park. Canyon Park. State Park. I don't remember. No. Well, we, we went a little bit outside of LA. Oh, okay. It was like yeah. Rodeo around there as well. Okay. Um, but it was mostly in LA. We were mostly in like, West Hollywood and uh we went to like Reseda once and then we went downtown for like a quick meetup. Um, but that's pretty much it. We we like mostly stayed around the LA area. Mm-hmm. Nothing too crazy, but it was still good to just drive around because LA is huge. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. I definitely, definitely. Did you guys rent a car or something? Everyone tells me I need to like rent a car. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> not, it's not like not like getting around the city, right? Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, like everything's very far apart. Like the streets are just so wide. Yeah. Too like, it's like an extra step. <laughs> <laughs> a couple extra steps. Um. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, like I was saying, I know you guys are in the studio, like, all the time. I see it on Instagram and stuff. Like, you guys, are you guys cooking up just a bunch of, a bunch of stuff? Like, I know you just released Drug and Me, but do you guys just have stuff stacked on deck that you're just keeping under wraps? We're, we are never going to ha- not have a new song on our boat. <laughs> <laughs> that answers your question. It does. It does. Uh, we'll yeah, we're, that. we're ahead of the game. We, we like to have things set up in the ahead of time and all that, that. so we definitely have a lot of songs that are complete and mm-hmm. halfway complete you know yeah we already have songs that are already posted for the next three months that's like oh, ready scheduled is already like gonna come out sick. no matter what that's sick like, so like so yeah. what, what, what <laughs> you, you were saying like like covid kind of gave you guys uh, like some time to really just put your head down and, and work right and just crank out music after you know crank out a bunch of songs and write a bunch of stuff Freed, freed you guys up. Would like, like, go ahead. No, yeah, I, I was gonna say like it, it really just gave us time to like give an, an excuse like yeah we don't have to work let's work mm-hmm. on our own stuff. Yeah. And then, oh, like, focus on you. No, that's awesome. Did yeah. um, in terms of like shows though, it sucks that you guys probably haven't. When's the last time you like you, you performed in a front of a live audience at all? Sure. Well, well over a year, I would imagine, right? Yeah, I think our actual last show was our, head, our headliner show, and it was in December, the December before, you know, the like 2019, outbreak. like 2019. Yeah. December show. Yeah. Like, like we, we planned this big show. We're like, all right, Rocks is going to come back strong. And we had a big show. Like, a lot of people came. Like, it was like a great show. And then we're like, all right, perfect. We get, we started off like the year strong. Then I don't know, we're COVID. Boom. it's like everything over do you guys um do you guys have like stuff planned or like show like i know because covid i mean it's not over but it's kind of coming to an end right like i i went and went went into a store without a mask on for the first time like last week it felt felt pretty nice but yeah uh, do do you guys um like have have stuff or trying to trying to book some some gigs and if you don't want to if you don't want to say it now because you have trying to like have a surprise announcement or something later on Uh it's fine, but um, we definitely are trying to play um, a lot of shows out of state. So we are planning on playing in the West Coast and even a couple tours outside of the United States. But you know, that's like when there's more restrictions are lifted and all that stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. We have a couple of um, shows already booked this year. Um, more are still in the city, but our goal is to reach outside of New York city for our, our, uh, live performances. Gotcha. Awesome. Yeah, dude. Uh, like, yeah, it's this, that like right now it's like state to state is like every state kind of has their own restrictions and shit. So yeah, it'll probably be a lot easier when, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping like September or something. I don't know, man. Like who knows yeah. when we'll, when we'll like be able to really like travel without restrictions and, but yeah, that's, that's awesome though, dude. When do you guys like, uh, is it any, anything uh, over the summer scheduled in, in within the city or, or not yet? Uh, yeah, we got, we got, we got two of them like around the end of July so far. Um, one, one of them is already like about, about to be like mass, max capacity right now because you know, COVID restrictions. Yeah. We have are there, one, are there pre-sale tickets or anything? Um, one of them was like the the one that's about to be limited because okay. you know. Well, actually, I, I just spoke to the the promoter. <laughs> um, there's tickets left still, so um, um, 
there is a ticket link available. A flyer is still um, being in the works, but we should have that today. But um, tickets are running low. It is going to be a big show. <laughs> it's more of a, a comeback show for a lot of us over here in the scene. Yeah, like a lot of local bands that we're like all like grew to like we kind of like grew up a little mm -hmm. bit together. Um, we're all like coming to play like this one show down in like Williamsburg. It's gonna be pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not I'm not sure when I'm gonna post this if it's gonna be, you know, this week or, or next week or whatever. But if you have the link and it's not sold out, I I can include it in, in the in the description and, and and the caption and stuff of of this. Um, but if not, if it's if if I ended up posting this like a little down the line, just swing swing your boy the link and I'll, and I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I I want to come through. Is it oh, William, yeah. it's in Williamsburg? Yeah, Williamsburg. It's more like a house party type of thing. Okay. Um, um we have like another one in Yonkers. Okay. Um, but uh, I forgot what date. Uh, it's the weekend before that. So we have the thirty first okay. of Williamsburg and the weekend before that, the Saturday before that. Um, which checking the date. Which is the twenty fourth. Yeah. The twenty fourth of July. We have a Yonkers show. Okay. Um, actually, Big Al went to that one before. It's pretty cool. Did he? Yeah. Oh yeah, because like, uh, uh, up there, uh, upstate a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we played there before. The guy actually dropped by. Cool. It's cool. But yeah. Shout out, well, Big Al. Send people the links. You know, yeah, man. If you're interested. <laughs> no, I, 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 one hundred percent am, dude. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll try to, you know, wrap this up. I don't want to take up too much, too much of your time. I, you know, I appreciate you guys, you guys doing this. But, um, you know, I, I used to, maybe just looking back on like, like, you know, you guys have been been together for a while now. Like, what, what would you say? Like, are some like, your like your the achievements or anything that you're you're, you're most proud of of you know what, what you've done in the past and which compared to where you are now and just what you know what's gotten you to this to this point? Like, any any like thing jump anything jump out at you that that you're just like the most proud of yourselves for? I was really proud of us putting out our first full album, studio produced, I just professionally say studio <laughs> produced album. Uh, yeah. We recorded in, um, what was it? New Brunswick, New Jersey. Okay. And we, we actually spent a few days out there sleeping in the studio as well. It was a uh, real, um, our first real like, it was like experience as artists and musicians because we recorded in the past with a bunch of assholes. Um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like assholes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can swear. Uh, yep, yeah. You know, people, you know, that don't care about us and will try to rip us off. And yeah, then yeah. we we've um we came across this project where we wanted to, to write a full album, ten songs, and um record it in a with this guy called Doug Gallo in uh, New Brunswick, New Jersey, AGL Sounds. That's the name of the studio. So um that was a uh, accomplishment for us, I feel like, because mm -hmm. once we uh, dropped it, it felt like we've been noticed somewhat, like we've been acknowledged as actual musicians and artists. Yeah, because like, that was like 10 songs that we just had in the books that were like, we got to do this. Like looking back at it now, like we definitely could have done a lot better, but like we're so, so proud of that we, we actually did it. And that, that felt like a real rock star moment. Yeah, dude, yeah. that that it kind of goes back to what we're, what we were saying earlier. Of like, yeah, you you think you, like you, you maybe could have done a better job, but like you that's you you started it right. Like at least you jumped in and you started making music. Like if you were to wait four yeah. years to, to actually jump in, then four years from now you're just, you're gonna be you're gonna be at the same level you were, yeah. you know, when you first started. So just jump yeah. in now and and you get better over time, dude. Like no, nobody nobody is you know perfect when they first start anything, you know literally like every, every time like 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 nowadays like like before like people like they didn't care about stuff but like nowadays like ever since like drug me our recent releases like drug me and like mary jane and stuff like people are like people from our old high school is like hitting us up like yo like yo you guys are like yeah. <laughs> fire. <You're> nice. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fire. that's bad it's, funny it's like very, very we're very happy to like hear all of that because you know we never really got that support I mean, you know, we definitely got like a lot of support, but like, but like, we de we never had like this much support in a while, and like, we're like very grateful for that, mm -hmm. for sure. That's awesome. Um, and I guess just kind of lastly here, like, where 
do you guys see see yourselves going and it's like do you have like a goal in mind i like, like the, the way i look at things my, my personal life like i, I like a, i set a goal for, for myself and then i'm like all right i'll, I'll hit that but it's like like you're, you're never done, right? Like there's no end in, in life until, until you die. Right. So like, yeah. you know, you, you, you have a goal for yourself and you're like, all right, I hit this. And like, so I feel like, you know, you guys are now at this level, you're putting out some fire stuff and you're starting to gain some, some, some traction. And, and do like you said, people are hitting you up from that you went to school with and stuff, but like, like, so what's, what's that next like threshold you have, like, like uh, an image or a vision in mind of like where you want to be. And then, and then I guess what's after, what's after that, you know, do you guys have like a kind of like, step plan or just like envisions of, of what's next we 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 really want to work more uh, with in la m- more with more people in la we got our producers that's really really well connected and we're like not to sound like too uh like i guess like jump on the bandwagon but like we really want to uh work with travis barker <laughs> yeah yeah we, we, we set that goal for like the beginning of the year like this year we're gonna meet we're gonna work with travis barker and um our, our producer actually works close with travis barker but like it that doesn't mean we could get like a free thing like he told right. us like, right it's gonna be, it's gonna be expensive <laughs> <laughs> so but like we're hoping that after all these months that we did before and going on because we're still going to be doing the same thing what we've been doing now. We're hoping that we're going to be in, at a higher level than we were before to be able to connect with other like well-known artists or upcoming artists to grow more, grow more of a following. And the yeah. really end goal is to, you know, have some diehard fans yeah. and continue doing music. <laughs> <laughs> Not worry about financials, just, live life how we want to mm-hmm. yeah adding on to that also internationally just taking over the world yeah <laughs> um, <going laughs> world <back> domination to, <laughs> yeah. going back to like our you know future shows and stuff um we're gonna we're working on the uk we're working on playing in canada we're working on japan we've got connections in all those spaces and we're, we're gonna go we yeah. will be out there <laughs> and it's gonna happen and we want to take over all parts of the world with our music even if no one goes with something <laughs> yeah. <either. laughs> that's sick i mean that's that's the mentality you have to have right like you like josh you just said like it like it, it will happen like like that's the only that's the way you have to think about it. it's not like oh you know i, I hope or, or golly i i wish one day we can, we, you know we, we can get there it's like no nah, like fuck it yo this is gonna happen and that's like the you know attitude yeah, you have to have to you know or, or else it won't happen you have to believe in, in yourself first and that's awesome that you guys think like that yeah this, that's always gonna be our, our mentality from now on. We just we just gotta do it, mm-hmm. you know. Cool, been, we, we've been doing that for, doing this for way too long. Like something's gotta happen. Yeah, and and, <laughs> I, and I think it's starting to man. Like I, I like just in my personal feed and stuff. I'm, I'm seeing you guys a lot more, and I the, the music is fucking awesome. And I I know I, I feel I feel like something's about to pop. I, I, you know, I, I, I'm, 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 I think, yeah, I'm, I'm serious. You guys are, you guys are good, and, and I'm not just saying that because you're my, my, my boy, Miguel. It's, it's good stuff. Appreciate that. Thank, Thank you, you so much, bro. No problem. Yeah, uh, you know, appreciate you guys doing this. Um, and uh, you know, any last final more remarks? If not, I, you know, appreciate the time, and, and, um, yeah, I'm sure I'll be talking to you soon, Miguel. And you know, Josh, nice, nice to meet you, man. I, I see you on Instagram all the time. Like I said, I follow the page and stuff. So nice to meet you. <laughs> finally this one we met like at the bar or something oh we, you know what we probably have actually in, 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 yeah yeah i didn't even think about that i was prob- I, I was probably uh <laughs> not in know, the right like, right for a mind yeah it's just probably blurry yep. so. <laughs> yeah but yeah um, it was nice talking to you again man um your clothing brand i feel like it's very inspirational so i wanted to add that as well um yeah, appreciate that man addition, it's just you know, right on the head. <laughs> yeah, man, I appreciate that. <laughs> Too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I wish I wish I would have worn my shirt today, but I wore it the other day. And all good, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah all totally. good. Definitely keep keep yeah. like you personally to like, keep keep it up, bro. Yeah, I, I see you doing lot, like every like you talk about us. I see you always on like on my feed. Like, yeah. Like, uh the, the marketing is crazy <laughs> on a vision 
Yeah. Shout, shout out our boy, uh, Matt Bermudez. Oh, yeah. Peaks. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to get him on to do one of these two to talk about his yeah. own, you know, marketing business that he, I mean, he, he's got a cool story too, man. Like he started that, uh, he started like a marketing agency. He was getting treated like shit by his boss. He learned a lot from his boss, but his boss was still just a dick to work for. And then he started something on the side and he grew it. And now that's what he does. That's, that's his career, you know, that that's his good. nine to five. He owns his own shit, which is awesome. That is so fire. That's I got to talk to him. Relink yeah. with him. Yeah. He's just a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Where, cool, guys. Yeah. yeah. Well, having I, us again, bro. Yeah, man. I appreciate the time, boys. Oh, yo, yo, wait. You mind? I take take a take a photo. Do it up. Yo. <laughs> ah shit. Um, can I use the phone? Yeah, <laughs> I, I got no. I got no. Back. <laughs> shit. Right. Uh, yeah. Ready to say cheese? Yo. Oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Right on. Bye. Thanks, boys.